We're continuing on the uh, light assembly. Um, I done a bunch of work that, uh, you know, it seemed like a bunch of work, but it wasn't on film. Um, <clears throat> it's just hot out here and I honestly just forgot to uh, get the camera. So I didn't want to <clears throat> include you on kind of how I got to where I am. So here we are. We have the reverse light here. Um, and then we have a brake and reverse light here. So uh, originally I was going to have the um, reverse light down here, um, but looking at it, there's enough clearance when I have this gate open for it to be in this location. Plus it kind of gives it more of a symmetrical look. If you uh, look at it straight from behind, it would have been off center a little bit, which I don't know, could have added some styling to it, I guess, or whatever. But um, so we have wires running through the frame here of the uh, tailgate itself um, stubbed out here they'll go through this grommet um, right here and then the reverse lights right now are just uh, in the back as you can see here so the next thing was the like I uh, alluded to before was going to be the um, license plate <coughs> lights and brake assembly so here's what we have you have the center hole here for your lights and then you have these quarter inch um, drilled out holes for the um, uh, the mounting hardware. Uh, all the rest of these have just been self-tapping screws that are going in here. You had to do quarter inch screws to allow for those those reverse or the uh, license plate lights to uh, mount there. So how it works is on the other side we have holes here and here so I can fit a um, 10 millimeter drive wrench in there to tighten the uh, the nut on the back side of it. So coming over here, if you look here, um, so this is our reverse light, right? Here's a tiny little head on the reverse light. Now how this is gonna work is, let's see if I can do this without burning myself on the soldering iron I left on. Um, this is going through here, hold one. So this is going through the uh, Brake assembly here, I have a nut and a washer to give me some space so that the light itself um, sticks above the actual housing here of the brake assembly so it's not just lighting up that red um, light. So on the back side, we're gonna have another nut. It's gonna go through the, uh, the housing obviously and then I'm gonna have another nut and lock washer to secure it in place with the 10 millimeter socket. So um, I'm gonna have one on each side and that's how it's gonna work now. Um, I was looking at it and thought I, you know, I was pretty proud of myself and then realized that um, when you put this socket, in order to get, tighten the nut, you have to, um, in order to tighten the nut here, you have to uh, have the wires fed through the actual socket itself, which then, how do you tighten it down? So I came up with a solution. I have a, uh, I made a, ground out a, a uh, piece of just flat stock um, metal here that is going to fit in to my assembly here. So if you look, this piece here slides perfectly into that piece, allowing the wires to uh, stick out and for me to tighten it down. So I could either do that or I could just suck a wrench, I guess, on the back side of this, on the back side of the, uh, the socket. But I went this route, and I think it'll work. Uh, it'll work quite nice. So we'll see. Anyway, um, all right. So that's kind of where I am. Get, once I get these wires um, or the lights mounted, then I can actually start doing the wiring and get it ran up to. Got a MIG tuning, um, eight foot lead, seven wire uh, assembly here um, for the uh, system. It's gonna likely mount. Reep likely mount somewhere back here on the frame allowing some cross member wires to drop in to the uh, the housing. It's pretty slick. I never haven't seen these but it has a uh, waterproof uh, grommets that kind of come with it um, varying sizes depending on what wire size you have coming into the uh, into the unit. So pretty cool. Um, but yeah that's where we are. It's the 4th of July and I'm working on the trailer so that's how <laughs> devoted I am to getting this thing knocked out. Um, all right, let's keep it rolling.
All right, we're at a stopping point for today. It's the 4th of July. I need to actually enjoy it a little bit. So um, I've been at this for a few hours, back and forth to the store a couple times. And here is what we are left with. Shazam. So we've got the side markers. We've got the um, reverse lights. We've got the brake lights and running lights and turn signals. So and we have the license plate lights. So this is how it turned out with the the uh, lights. You have the um, <clears throat> points there kind of pointing up the plate. The plate will be mounted uh, up here and obviously lit up by the uh, the lights there. So should work out pretty well. Um, it's all ran in here like you had seen on the time lapse, hopefully. Um, and we have it all running down to a common um, section here. I got it marked up. We'll have a grommet inside here. We'll put a grommet and then it'll run through. Uh, might have to open up that grommet, make it a little bigger, make a put a bigger one in there, but uh, we'll see. Um, everything's ran. It's just a matter of doing the wiring now, but uh, we're calling it a day. Good. Good. Into the reverse. Oh yeah. Lights. We have uh, everything worked out perfect. Um, everything, yeah, everything worked as it should have, except for one small, small-ish uh, thing, and that's the actual connection. So I measured this thing like eight times, figuring out my length on here and figured that I had enough uh, length to run it through the frame, down, and it actually hooks around the frame right here and then comes into the uh, unit right here. So. I think what I'm gonna have to do, since I've got all this already um, wired in to length for this location, I think what I have to do is drill a hole through this uh, frame here, um, and then I'll stub the uh, the wire on the backside here. We'll then switch and come in over here, and that'll give me 
a whole lot more length there. So um, that's what the plan's gonna be now, and I gotta drill a hole, so. We are finished with the brakes I'm getting this thing legal. Just got to get to our registration, but my end of the deal is done. So we uh, have our brakes like I've shown you. Um, I did have to modify a little bit. There was a little bit of contact between here and here and the um, brake itself, but uh, ground that down and we're good now. I think I am going to put though like a, uh, a bump kind of stop right here just to uh, Make sure that if this thing slams down, it's not gonna break a light. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so finally got the uh, got the little bit more cordage here for the truck. So much better um, setup. Um, you can see down here, we went through that, uh, drilled that hole right there, and then uh, wired it all up. Went through zip tying everything, getting everything nice and cleaned up. Um, I mean, I say nice and cleaned up, but it, uh, it still looks like a home job. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that is it. I, it's 2.30. I'm gonna hit the pool and relax a little bit, come back here and clean everything up. But uh, that's it, that's it for this episode. Again, let me know in the comments if you, uh, have anything you're seeing I'm doing wrong or you know you're seeing something that it could do uh, better um, and we'll uh, take it hopefully into consideration make this thing badass so anyway thanks for watching